Welcome back guys. I am the Vegan Kitty and welcome to the Vegan Kitty's Kitchen. On the menu today, I will be preparing uh, chocolate peanut clusters. Okay, I'm using uh, chocolate chips by Great Value. They're vegan friendly. It's a uh, dark chocolate. Okay, I'm going to use two bags. You can use one, depending on how many you want to make. So I'll be using two. Um, and then I have peanuts. Uh, these are dry roasted peanuts by Great Value. Um, it is a 16 ounce, 16 ounce peanuts. And I have a little bit of almond milk, of course, to thin out the chocolate a little bit, if needed. So it's good to have that on standby. Okay guys, let's cook. Okay guys, first we're gonna melt the chocolate. The chocolate chips, you can either microwave it for like 30 seconds, or you can use a double boiler like I'm using. So I'm going to insert a glass bowl. Uh-oh. I'm gonna put a glass bowl. And I'm going to add I'm going to let it heat and then melt the chocolate. Alright, so I'm going to be back with the melted chocolate. Okay, so the chocolate is all melted. Um, I didn't need to use any milk. I thought I would have to use a little bit of milk to kind of get it um, loose. To kind of loosen up the chocolate. But I didn't have to. So Now I'm going to add, um, once the chocolate is all melted, add the peanuts to it. Um, I'm not going to measure it. You just use as many as you want to. You like a lot of peanuts, go for it. If not, just put a little, very little. I'm going to add a little peanuts to my clusters. I mean to my chocolate. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to remove the chocolate from the fire. I want more peanuts. Uh -oh. Add a little bit more peanuts to my Okay. All right, so now I'm going to use a large spoon. And then first, well first, you're going to need a cookie sheet and you're going to line it with wax paper, with parchment paper, wax paper, whichever. I'm going to make a mess. 
You can make them small, medium size, large, however you want to do it. I'm just going to make them, I guess, different sizes. No particular measurement. Um, notice I'm not filling up the entire spoon. I'm just kind of using the tip of it. I could have actually used more peanuts, but I'll leave it at this. Welcome back. Now the taste test. Okay, so you guys can get a close up of that. Okay, so you look at it. It's a velvety, nutty. It's a um, can I say it's thick or can I say it's thin? This one's thin, this one's thick. I'm gonna do that one. So it's velvety, it's nutty, it's thick. Okay. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Mm. 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 <laughs> My God, that's so good. It's just delicious. It's sweet. It's rich. Creamy and some hot watering. It's a delightful treat. <laughs> it's really good. Mm. It's packed with nut. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I'm ready now. It's really good. It's easy. I just I said three ingredients in the beginning, but there's two ingredients because I said it was chocolate, um, chocolate chips, peanuts, and then I said milk. That's needed if you want to if you want to thin out your chocolate. But I didn't use. It. I kept it thick. So you can add a little bit of milk just to thin it out a bit if you want to. But I didn't use it. So it's just pretty much two ingredients: chocolate peanuts. And you have this masterpiece. See that? Really simple. I'm, I'm really um, pleased with the way it turned out. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy with the way it turned out. It's really good. Mm. And the game is really simple. So. Again, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed watching my um, cooking segment and review. I am the vegan kitty, and this cat is out. <laughs>